This is Chef George. I'm the executive chef from Stulenes. And today we're going to prepare a filet of flounder, a beautiful quality of fish. Uh, when I say beautiful, I mean very, very, very fresh. Only Stulenes you can find that quality of flounders. It's, you know, uh, if you want it fresher than that, you have to own a boat and go and fish it yourself. Now, over here, what I'm going to do is a uh, big filet of flounder florentine. And the name of Florentine becomes when I'm using spinach. And the spinach here, I'm going to do is, I'm going to saute the spinach, I'm going to make a stuffing with, uh, I'm going to use the Stu Lennes Italian style breadcrumbs, a little bit of uh, olive oil, sun dried tomatoes, shallots, a little bit of lemon juice, and a little bit of chives. And when we have all that combined together, I will be able to roll it and have it ready to put it in the oven. I have here a very fresh filet of flounder and you can see in the middle has a little bone that you want to remove that because it's, you see, it's just a little bit of bone and you make it a little bit flat and you will have that filet, you see, you will have the filet ready. You can have a mallet, you can have your knife, whatever you like. You put it in a plate like this and you will have the flounder ready to be stuffed. And now I'm going to start chopping all the ingredients to do the stuffing. And the stuffing, I'm going to start with a little bit of... I'm doing a little bit of shallots too, over here. A little bit lemon juice and the uh, flounder. Of course, a little bit salt and pepper, of course, freshly ground. And then I'm going to add a few pieces of butter two pieces of butter, a little bit of olive oil. I always mix a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to do the shallots, of course. I have a little bit of white wine here that I'm going to put it inside. Fresh garlic is one of the very tasty ingredients. Then I will chop that thinly, very thin, as you can see can be julienne too if you like or you can chop it or whatever is easy for you to do okay you put all that inside then I'm going to wait two seconds for that in the meantime I'm going to chop a little bit of fresh baby spinach then I'm going to put the chives and the uh, parsley to put all that inside over here, the sun dried tomatoes goes in too, at the same time. And I'm going to deglaze with a little bit of white wine. Just a little bit, because I don't want to make it, you know. That will be enough to make two portions. Now, if you want to make more automatically, you will have to increase the quantities. But if you look the recipe, you will see that that is for two. Now, I'm going to use the uh, Stulenes breadcrumbs. There's already Italian Stulenes breadcrumbs. And I'm going to give them a little bit of, a couple of inches of that. I don't want to make it too thick, but I don't want to make it too loose either. Then you see, it gets like, a, just to keep the spinach firm. You see, it's colorful, green. I don't want to lose the uh, color of the spinach. I want to keep that color, it's beautiful. Now I'm going to close the fire. I can mix it in a bowl, and then I will be ready to stuff the sole. Now, the filet of sole, it's already a little bit flat, as you can see. Sole, flounder, yellowtail, any kind of the, the nice, delicate filet of sole, you can put will be okay since we're going to bake it right away I can mix hot and cold if I was doing that for tomorrow and I will put another piece of sun dried tomato inside for the color and taste of course and then I will roll it like this as you can see I take the over stuffing coming out as you can see how beautiful and colorful it is in each side 
and I'm going to bang a little bit the sole again, flounder sole. Okay. Now here I'm going to do the same procedure of the other one. I'm going to make it together and then put the stuffing with the shallots, the garlic, all that gives me a beautiful aroma, a little bit extra of sun-dried tomatoes and I'm going to roll it, roll it, roll it with the knife I'm taking over the uh, extra spinach and the extra tomato and you see the color how beautiful it is then I'm going to have it ready to be baked to bake it I can put a little bit of just a little tiny piece of butter on the top tiny piece of butter on the top a little bit of olive oil if you want a little drop of white wine in the top and bake it this is an, a, a, a plate it goes in the oven then you can bake that and you can serve that with the lobster sauce you can serve that with the dill sauce a lemon sauce all that goes very well with the filet of flounder voila this is the recipe that i think is great and we should eat a lot of fish more fish than what are we eating then this is an excellent recipe you know, to be healthy. Enjoy it.